Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What is going on, guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today I know many of you have been asking, alright, uh, we got the new RC6 mission up featuring Bayord, alright, so, um, very powerful battle going on here guys, but uh, you're going to want to farm it because if you can farm it enough times to get his rare item drop, you can make some pretty powerful spheres here guys, alright, so uh, that's what this raid battle grinding is all about in RC6, very powerful spheres guys, and this one is pretty nice, it's a pretty nice sphere I must say. So uh, what we're going to get into today, guys, we are going to show you guys how we get down with Mr. Bayor. Now, let me tell you up front, this is not an easy battle, guys. Not in the freaking least. All right. So uh, with that being said, um, you'll see my squad make up. My squad against Bayor is very defensive, guys. All right. Because if you don't play defensively, the guy pretty much hits like a truck. All right. So we're not doing much in the way of uh, raw damage or attack or anything like that. So having a squad of friends is pretty much required, guys, all right? Hopefully you got some nice friends um, you know that can help you out. Uh, hopefully you get some randoms that aren't leeches. That's pretty much all I can say, guys, all right? But uh, let me pick my friend. Hopefully she still has up the unit that I need. I'm hoping so. Frontier Hunter is out, so... Many people may have switched their uh, leads up here, so I don't know. Might be in some uh, some deep doo doo here without the right friend unit, but we'll see what we got here. I don't recommend you focus on getting a friend unit that has uh, uh, crit. All right, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not needed. Just leave it alone. Alright, looking like I might be in some trouble here. Everyone has their avants up. It is Frontier Hunter right now. I may be in some trouble here if I can't get my unit that I, my friend unit that I usually use. Yeah, it's not looking good. I think all my friends are taking it off. Indeed they have. Alright guys, so um, unfortunately my friend unit that I usually use is not up. Alright. Um, I can't remember the name of the unit. It's the little electric dragon unit that gives you the 15% decrease in damage against thunder units. Um, she did have it up, but she's changed her, friend, uh, her lead now, so of course I'm stuck. <laughs> So this battle might turn out worse than I expected without uh, that leader skill. This leader skill came in really handy for uh, keeping the damage down, guys. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do without it. I really don't know, man. I might be in some trouble. Alright, but uh, I, I go against crit leads, guys. Don't even worry about it. Because I'm pretty sure the main battle... Uh, the main is two parts to this boss Bayard. You got his main body and his lower body. Um, the lower body drops rather quickly. All right. Um, the main body does not. All right. Um, main reason being, I don't think you can even do crit damage against it. And I, I'm not even sure you can do elemental damage against it. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Well. I, I don't really like it, but I'm thinking I'm going to end up using the Charlotte friend. I would, I would much rather have the dragon, honestly. I really would rather have the dragon, but what am I going to do, man? What am I going to do? I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Ay, caramba. Okay, well... She's still decent. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up having to use her. She's not going to be as good. So this might suck a little bit. This 
might suck a little bit, but uh, she's not going to be as good, but I think I'm pretty much going to be stuck with her. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right, so we're going to go with the Charlotte friend. All right. I wanted the Electric Dragon. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but um, since we don't have him, it is what it is. All right, so let me show you guys the squad I use real quick. Very defensive squad. Let me reiterate that, guys. This squad is pretty much defensive, okay? Um, they're not really for damage dealing. They're for staying alive, all right? This boss, is, in my opinion, is much more difficult than Shu Sui is, all right? Um, sushi, if you want to call them that. Uh, the last RC6 boss battle we had, all right? I find myself against this boss having to run a lot more, all right? I have to run out of the battle, get back to camp, try to recoup, in a minute or two so I can get back into the battle so uh, it, it, it can be a doozy but uh, this is the squad I use guys alright um, can I show you from this screen uh, I have to show you from the next screen alright so uh, let me just show you real quick uh, I actually need to put a different sphere on my bird tree that's what I need to do with him I like the potent stone, but I think I'm going to take it off for the uh, twinkle gem or something. I need something that protects against status ailments. Because he's my unit that I use to keep our HP at max, as well as keep the status ailments off of us. Alright, so um, as long as I can keep making that happen, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Alright, so uh, let me see. Should we be able to get a twinkle gem or something. Twinkle Gem is not going to restore as much BB gauge as that Potent Stone. That's the bad thing. But it does restore a little bit of BB gauge and it does keep us protected from status ailments. And I do believe I need that a little bit more. Uh, maybe not even a Twinkle Gem. Star of Hope would be even better. Alright, so we're going to put that. And. Alright, what two spheres do I have now? Please don't tell me they kept the Potent Stone. Okay, good. So these are the two spheres I use on him. Um, like I said, his point is to keep our HP pretty much full and keep status ailments off of us. He also boosts BB gauge with his SBB, which definitely comes in handy. All right. Now, um, him being pretty much only support and me not having the Thunder Dragon is really going to cut my damage horribly. But I think we may still be able to get it done. Alright, so Libero we mainly use for BB Gauge on attack. Lully we use in her leader skill. She decreases damage from Thunder type units by 15%. As well as add increase the damage that Earth Element units do to Thunder type units. Alright, so we're using Dolk as our mitigator. And mainly because he's Earth type, that's decreased damage. And we're mainly using Will for uh, HOT. Alright, we got a little bit of overlap with Sharla. But uh, I'm going to really focus on trying to use her SBB rather than her BB. So, And also, this squad was set up to use with the Thunder Dragon, which none of my friends have up. And I don't have one myself, so kind of stuck, guys. All right? But um, let's go ahead and get into this. All right? Um, like I said, be prepared to do a lot of running. All right? This boss battle is way more difficult than Sushi, in my opinion. All right? He's always at the Storm Squirt Metropolis. He may run over to the northwest side of the stage all right so uh let's go ahead and get this party started um i am going to be fast forwarding this video guys otherwise it will be like a half hour long all right because this boss battle takes some time a considerable amount of time all right so i'm going to battle this i'm basically going to fill up my bb gauges then we're going to get into the boss battle keep your hp high mitigate every turn if you find that you can't mitigate, you run out of Fujins, whatever the case may be, guys, I highly recommend you just run from battle. Just run. Run out. Go back to camp. Revive whatever dead units you have, whatever you need to do, and then come back to battle and restore the HP of all those units, and then uh, you'll be in the game. Get back into it with them. Now, you do have a 30-minute time limit here, guys. I find myself quite often coming really close to that time limit. Especially with a crew like this, two support units, which I don't want to do. I want the Thunder Dragon. None of my friends have the Thunder Dragon up, so I'm kind of stuck at this point. But, uh, do whatever works. But this crew with the Thunder Dragon came through for me. Alright, I was even ranking top quite often. Alright, so, uh, 
After this battle, guys, I'm pretty much going to fast forward it. Like I said, keep your HP high, mitigate every turn. And with a squad like this, you should be able to take out uh, Bayord without too much of a problem. He's very strong, so you may still have to run, but there's no real strategy, at least that I know of, to this battle, guys, all right? I know on Sushi, you had to watch out for the stance he was in and whatnot. This one, I don't really see you having to do that too much, all right? So, um, we'll just go ahead and get into the battle and keep it moving, all right? So, I'm going to fast forward it from here on out, guys. Here we go. Enjoy.
guys, and that's all there is to it. So uh, that's probably the quickest one I've did so far. We still have about eight and a half minutes left that time. So uh, that's a pretty good run there, guys. Definitely a solid run there. Okay, so um, as you saw there, make sure you got your e your HOT ready. All right, make sure you got a uh, way to counteract that strong DOT he has. Keep your HP high, mitigate every turn. Make sure you get BB on attack, and you'll do just fine. All right. So who would have thought Lully Luli would be good for something, right? Nice stuff there. She comes in pretty well for this one. So I then get the rare drop. What you want is called Bayorg's Bulb. Um, I got a lot of scrap, but not the bulb. So we're going to keep grinding, guys. More orbs to burn. But that's going to wrap up this video showing you how to get it done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped you. you got questions, comments, anything, leave them down below. Otherwise, I thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And of course, I will be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon. Later, guys.